what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, tweeted on Saturday that his daily coronavirus briefings were not worth his time two days after he sparked rage after suggesting that patients inject disinfectant into their bodies to fight infections. The demander and thief appeared to confirm media reports that he was considering halting the briefings, which dominate early evening cable television news for sometimes more than two hours out of frustration with questions about his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. What is the purpose of having White House news conferences when the lamestream media asks nothing but hostile questions and then refuses to report the truth or facts accurately? They get record ratings and the American people get nothing but fake news, not worth the time and effort. On Thursday, the U.S. leaders stunned viewers by saying doctors might treat people infected with the coronavirus by shining ultraviolet <laughs> ultra light inside their bodies or with injections of household disinfectant. Check out what he said, family. Then I see the disinfectant where it knocks the virus out in a minute. One minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside of almost a cleaning? Because you see, it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number on the lungs, he said. It gets in the lungs. Disinfectant family <laughs> gets into the lungs and it does a tremendous job. You mean like killing people? You idiot. Listen, fam. The President of the United States owe it to the American people to give briefings during a pandemic. Why? to reassure people, to give people some type of sense of calm during the storm. It's not his job to decide when he wants to answer questions or what questions he wants to answer. It's his job as the President of the United States of America to give facts and answer the questions responsibly. That is his job. It is not his job to be all on Twitter tweeting out bitter statements about the media. This is y'all president. America is the laughing stock of the world. Nobody respects America. Now, I know some of y'all probably sitting at that, well, they're going to respect this might. They respect our military. They don't respect that. Maybe they fear it. Fear and respect is two different things. I'd rather be respected than feared. It's a whole lot of good come with respect. Somebody fear you might do something to you. This dude need to be removed from office ASAP. This is bad, family. You got a president who is afraid to give briefings during a pandemic because he don't have any answers. He can't BS his way through this pandemic. He's been able to BS his way through a lot of things, but daily, that daily grind, that daily grilling, he can't take it. He can't take the pressure. He's not made for this. You got to be able to do a lot, take a lot, balance a lot to be the president of the United States. He can't do it. This dude, he would rather start some type of beef with somebody. See, he good with that type of stuff. He don't even have to read from a script, a script to do that. He's very good with that type of stuff. 
But things that require thought, intelligence, research, he's not good with that. Like facts, he's not good with that. He makes up stuff as he goes along. The dude is totally incompetent. Absolutely not qualified to lead a, a Boy Scout group. The dude is slow up top. Horrible human being. Very, very bad, bad person. I don't understand how he got this far. Well, I, I got it. I get it. You know, in America, you know, if you got some money, you know, you can buy your way through a whole lot of things. I get it. But what a whining crybaby, a whining orange crybaby. Suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.